a few minutes of your time this morning just to remind us that there are benefits, benefits in knowing God. Now, I don't know where you are this morning, but as I was preparing for this message, as I kept reading the scripture over and over and over again, hopefully, hopefully this morning, I've got my shout in. So if I haven't, I ask you, as Shirley Caesar would say, just hold my mule. Hold my mule and while I praise God, there are benefits in knowing God. It's amazing uh, uh, and it's easy for us to take things for granted. The house that we live in, the job that we have, the family that we've been given the education that we received or have not received, the friends by which we are surrounded, the clothes in our closets, the food on our table, the money in your bank account. And for me, the sheep that we've been called, chosen and anointed to shepherd. And the list, could go on and on, but there are benefits in knowing Christ. And while we are currently dwelling on quality or maybe quantity of the things listed that I've listed above, please realize that we are all guilty from time to time in taking these blessings for granted. Now, during the Sunday school and Bible study last week, we touched uh, uh, constantly on the concept of there being no comparison in the new Jerusalem or the new city. Of course, in our world of comparison, heartache and selfishness, selflessness and selfishness, it's hard to continually remember the benefits that we have in knowing God. Friends, this same concept is true in our faith. You see, we compare uh, our have-nots with other people's haves. We compare our cannot do with the world's can do's. We experience heartache, temptations, and failures and, uh, that distract our view of reality. And we are faced daily, daily with the lure of fitting in and making our names known. But let me tell you, there are benefits in knowing who Jesus is. Each of these trials aim at lessening our awareness of the benefits in knowing and following Christ. That is, or this is why the psalmist writes, bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget his benefits. So what is this thing called benefits? What are, this, what are these things called benefits? A benefit is something done, performed, bestowed, and given to an individual. It is an extreme kindness and that is offered to advance a person forward. Let me read that again, because sometimes we think that our benefits are, are given so we can press down, uh, 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 oppress others and, and push others back and keep others down. But it says that it is an extreme kindness that is offered to advance another person forward. And too easily, too easily we forget the gifts that God has bestowed upon us, the acts that he has done to advance us, to advance us forward. 
So what, what, what are the benefits that David talks about in Psalms 103 verses three through five? What happens when we place them on our daily to-do list? And remember the giver and provider of these awesome benefits. It's not me. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's not about a, 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 a denomination. It's not about your affiliation with other um, uh, organizations. It's all about Jesus. Since the benefits that come with knowing God and having a personal relationship with him are both spiritual and they are physical. Uh, David clearly clearly and intentionally includes the following benefits that comes from our knowing God and having a personal relationship with him. He says in verses three through five, he forgives our sins, not one, but all of our sins. He heals our diseases. He redeems us from hell and saves our lives. He crowns you with love and mercy. He crowns us with love and mercy. That's easy for some of us to forget. He wraps us in goodness. We are wrapped in the beauty of goodness. He renews our youth. Uh, you and I are always young in God's presence. That's a benefit in knowing God. God does not fail to demonstrate his faithful love and compassion to us daily. Do we forget to express that same kind of faithfulness and love to him? For those of us who are weary, he provides renewed vitality. There are countless reasons to praise God and to express our gratitude for the benefits that he freely showers upon us daily. He freely gives us daily. However, we must remember to express our gratitude for the benefits of knowing our provider the giver and sustainer of life. Now Galatians 2 and 20 says this, I have been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I who lives, but Christ who lives in me. So I cannot, I cannot, I will not forget the generous benefits he has bestowed upon me. All because of him, you and I now have life and have life more abundantly. Benefits in knowing Jesus. Friends, I tell you this morning, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Uh, uh, my, uh, why? Because there are limitless Never ending benefits in knowing Jesus. Now, finally, as I continue to read Psalms 103, I had to go back some and go back to uh, David when he reflected on the benefits of knowing God uh, recorded in Psalm 16. And now he encompasses those same benefits and others described in Psalms 103. You see in Psalms 16, David says this, to know God is to have protection, which is a divine benefit. Go back, Psalm 16, verse one. To know God is to have a provision. That goes back to Psalm 16, verse 2. Uh, verse 3 says, to know God is to be drawn to those who are righteous. That's a benefit. To know God is to be aware of our sins. That's a big benefit that we all need to keep in mind. 
And then verses five and six of Psalm 16 says, to know God is to be joyfully content. Joyfully content. Could this be the reason for David opening Psalms 103 with the following declaration? Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits, who forgives all of our iniquities. Now, verse uh, 7 and 8 of Psalm 16 goes back and says, to know God is to be faithfully guided. To be faithfully guided. I will bless the Lord who counsels me, even at night when my thoughts trouble me. I always, I will always ask God to guide me. Always. Now, finally, finally, Psalm 16, verses 9 and 11 uh, it declares and claim that Jesus, Jesus, we have to claim the future, Jesus' future as our own. That's a benefit. That's a benefit in knowing who God is. I, I uh, consequently, um, uh, this statement draws on the concluding verses of today's text that says the Lord works righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the people of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. That's a benefit. That's a benefit. I don't know whether you know it or not, but that's a benefit. Now, please, please, just for a moment, because I'm almost finished, because I feel the presence of God moving in my spirit this morning that says that you ought to be satisfied with Jesus and the benefits that he provides us daily. Now, just please indulge me just for a minute as I make this message personal and up close for Dorinda. As I reflect on the benefits I've received since I met Jesus and ask him to come into my life. He is, he is the center of my joy because the Bible says the joy of the Lord is my strength. I, I am never, ever alone. Family and friends may walk away, but he promises never to leave me uh, nor forsake me. I am never alone. And then I remembered in uh, reading uh, and, and studying his love for me is unconditional. I am enough. Just as I am, the songwriter says, just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me and that thou biddest me come to thee, O Lamb of God, I come, I come to the benefits of knowing Jesus. Like the psalmist, I say to myself, and I encourage you to do the same this morning. If you're feeling down and out, if you're feeling all alone, if you have sickness in your body, if you have financial woes, if you have concerns about family and loved ones, I ask you to make this declaration. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And I will not forget all the benefits. As long as I live and trouble rise, I will praise him for all he has done and continues to do for me. Now this morning, First Church, uh, will you join me this morning in celebrating the benefits of God? I was inspired by the Christian hymn recorded by Andre Crouch that says, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. 
He has done great things for me. Yes, he has done great things for me. And I will bless his holy name. There are benefits, church, in knowing who God is. Let us not get so caught up on what the world is doing or not doing. Let us not get so caught up on those things that are really uh, uh, not important at all to our salvation. But let us remember that Jesus has given us benefits beyond measures and if we receive him this morning and know him for the pardoning of our sins, uh, we can bless the Lord, oh, our soul, and we will not forget his benefits. Benefits in knowing who God is. I share and I declare this morning that there are benefits, lasting benefits, lasting benefits when we know who God is and know that he loves us unconditionally. It is in Jesus' name that we offer these words of encouragement this morning, that you will realize that there are benefits in knowing who God is. So I ask you this morning, just bless the Lord. Just bless him this morning. Bless him and tell him thanks. Just tell him thank you for blessing us with all of these benefits. It is in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Mr.